What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and let's continue on with the super fast, quick, cool, amazing Revit tutorial series for beginners. So in the last part we modeled, uh, well, this building up to this point and now we're going to be continuing on with some uh, walls uh, and, and some floors and, and the roof and a bunch of stuff like that. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file as well as all of my project files check out my patreon first link in the description okay let's continue on and before we do anything uh, what I forgot to do in the last video or actually in the first video is to save this file so you need to save your project file and you just go here to file you find save as project and you go and you can maybe save on your desktop for example and let's just call this one getting started Revit and you just go save. And as you can see here, you only have, you don't have like versions, uh, like you have in AutoCAD that you can save in like an older version. Now you have to save in uh, the actual version you're working in. So just go save and there we go. So now you can continue working and Revit will actually give you a little pop-up reminder that you haven't saved uh, every 10 minutes or 20 minutes. So that's quite useful. But let's continue on working on this project. So uh, now we're going to be uh, starting to be modeling all the rest of the walls. So for that, let's go over here from uh, this level. This is level one, so just go to lower level and let's do these walls first. So for that, let's go here to the wall command or again, you can use the shortcut uh, WA. So I'm just going to be opening this up, go with, let's go with generic 200 and now we can start placing the wall. But as you can see, if I start placing the wall, it will be like this in the middle and I actually don't want to to be like this because uh, as you can see it looks ugly and there are these notches and I actually wanted to, al to align it to the inside uh, of this wall so these two align. So how do you do that? Well let's delete this wall first so just hit delete then go to wall again search for this generic 200 and then here for the location line change this to wall center line so you're not drawing with the center of the wall you're actually drawing with the finish face interior uh, because uh, this is the interior side this is interior, this is exterior. So you just go from here and then you start placing the wall. Uh, and if it's on the wrong side, just hit your space bar and then as you can see, it will flip your wall. So you just go from there to there. Uh, but before <laughs> you start placing the wall, you should probably set up the top constraint. So you can do that uh, either up here or here in the properties panel. So for this one, let's do it in the properties panel. For the base constraint, okay, level uh, level one, lower level, that's the one we're on. And for the top constraint, let's just change it from unconnected to roof because this goes all the way up to roof. And then you go from here, just one click, second click, uh, third click, and a few more clicks and there you go. So we've got this wall done. Uh, then let's jump on to the entry level uh, level or level two. And uh, for some reason we can't see anything. Let's go into 3D. Okay, yeah, so let's go back into entry level. And if you can't see the, the rest of the wall, again, just go VR for view range. So just type in VR and change the view depth to unlimited, hit apply. Okay, now you can see the rest of the wall. Okay, so now if you want to place the wall and uh, if you want to create the exact sim uh, same wall as you have over here, you don't have to go to the wall command. You can actually just select this and type in CS. That means create similar. So it will be creating a, a similar type of wall as you have over here. So the, the type of the wall is same. Uh, the constraints uh, are actually same. It goes up to the roof and this location line is the same as well. So that's quite useful and it saves a bit of time. So you go from here and now we need to flip it to the other side. Just hit the space bar, flip, go all the way to the end, go over here and here attach it over here. Okay, now let's go back into our 3D view just to see what we have. Okay, this is turning out very nice. Uh, now let's uh, create our roof. I guess that's a uh, logical next step. So for that, let's go to your roof. And here you can see, uh, we can see the building, but it's uh, grayed out, but that's okay. It works for us. Uh, you can go to VR and maybe change this, maybe make it unlimited for the view depth. So again, just the shortcut VR, hit apply. Now you can see it a bit better, uh, but anyway, you get the point. Okay, let's continue on placing a roof. So for that, let's go to the roof command. Here it is. You can either open up this drop menu and go roof by footprint or just click on this upper 
uh, icon and you're in the roof command. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go here to the pick lines tool and actually pick uh, the inside of this wall or sorry the outside of this wall. Uh, so for that one just click there and for the rest of these uh, as you can see this has this little slope it's currently at 30 degrees but we're going to change that to something like I don't know like 5 degrees it's going to be a very uh, a, it's not going to be a very steep uh, roof and for the rest of these we want to have kind of a little offset over here so it doesn't rain on the facade or anything so for that uh, you can just go with the pick lines tool and here for the offset just give it something like I don't know 0.9 meters and then you just zoom in and let's see okay so you just zoom in you find that location and as you can see now it's on the wrong side so let's see so you just need to approach it from the different side and now you can click same thing over here click and same thing over here click now as you can see these also have these uh, slope uh, little symbols and we don't want to have those slope symbols uh, these two uh, edges these three edges won't have any slope so we just select them and uncheck here the finest slope and just to, to connect it all you can use the tool trim and extend so either go over here and just click or as you can see again in that little parentheses next to trim and extend to corner you've got TR so TR is the shortcut so you can just type in TR and here we are in that tool. So I'm just going to trim and extend this, trim and extend that, and uh, yeah, we're done with our roof. So just hit finish, go into 3D, and there you go. Here's our roof. Okay, so let's continue on uh, with some uh, floors uh, for levels. So let's go first to lower level. So here we're going to have a uh, basically a floor that goes all the way around. So for that, uh, you can go here to floor, and unfortunately we don't have any shortcuts for floor so you just click that and you can use the pick walls command so you just hover over one of the walls you hit the tab key and then you can select all of the walls so you click once you do the same thing for this one hover over the first one hit tab once select everything and once you have this you can just hit finish uh, here just click no and again no and if we go into 3d uh, there's actually a floor there but we can't see it. So one of the ways you can see it, maybe you can select one of these walls and now you can see there's actually a floor going on over here. Okay, let's do a second floor for our entry level level. <laughs> okay, so for that, just go to floor. And for this one, let's use pick lines. So instead of pick walls, let's go with pick lines. So just keep selecting the interior uh, side of this uh, facade and uh, then here select this one and now we're going to stop I'm going to select this one as well and what I'm going to do now is go trim and extend so let's click here uh, trim this and now let's move this in a bit kind of like that this is just to have a bit more room uh, so the the ceiling is a lot higher on the living room downstairs uh, but anyway once we have this let's add one more line over here Kind of like that and now you go again to trim and extend so just click over here so you trim and extend this to this and this to this and you just check the corners yeah they all look fine so you go back to the modify tool and now let's extend this just kind of like that so we've got a little balcony uh, or whatever over here okay this looks fine and once we have this again let's just go finish and here you're going to say no uh, and it's just asking would you like to attach all of your walls to the floor and uh, I, I'm going to say, say no here and the reason for that is because these walls are going uh, past this floor up to the roof and if we go into 3D as you can see here not all of the walls are actually attached to our roof so what we're going to do is we're going to hover over one of the walls hit the tab key so select all of these, hit, hover over this one, hit the tab key, and now hold the control to add all of that to selection. Okay, I, I moved my cursor. So tab, hold the control to get that, that little plus sign, click like that, and now you just hit, uh, click here to attach top base, you click, you select this, and now your walls are attached to the roof. So that's that little attaching uh, thing that they asked us for uh, this floor. But if we had done this for the floor, uh, it would have been uh, the floor. Uh, all of the walls would end at this floor, and that's not something you want to have. Okay, so once this is finished, let's move on to the interior walls. And for that, let's go first to lower level. 
and for the lower level uh, we're going to do something like this so just go to wall and here let's set up the height to yeah to entry level so just from a uh, lower level to entry level and let's choose the type of the wall so if this was generic uh, 100 let's find some interior wall let's see do we have some okay we've got some interior walls let's use this one uh, partition I don't know one hour okay that's like in the event of a fire but let's use that one for example and uh, I'm just going to go like this gonna finish it off over here extend this to the other side go to wall again do it like uh, kind of like this and then add one room here and one more separation here so for this distance as you can see now you just select the wall and then you set up the distances uh, or the dimensions of the rooms and if you want to be precise you can move these little uh, uh, these little dimension lines so just go from the center to the edge and here same thing go from the center to the edge and if you can select it just hit the tab key once or twice and then you can select it and now let's say this room should be 1.2 meters and let's say this hallway uh, should be I don't know 1.4 from uh, wall center to wall center and okay we've got one room here uh, and we've got one bigger room here and uh, here as you can see this is a hallway so you should go from living room uh, to here and here we've got a wall so how do we split that wall well use the split line tool so you just go here to modify or you can select the wall and then it automatically goes to modify and here you've got this split element tool so you just select it or you can use the shortcut SL so just type in SL you click here hit escape now you trim and extend so again you can select one of the walls go to trim and extend or again the shortcut uh, TR and there we go so now we have kinda separated these walls so now we can go to the modify tab and let's go now to entry level now as you can see on the entry level we can see all of these walls well uh, why is that well because they're going through our floor and if I go into 3D uh, for a second just to demonstrate that and if I maybe select this as you can see uh, uh, now this is transparent when it's selected uh, the walls are actually finishing at the top face of this uh, here floor that we have so uh, a way that we can kind of change that and make them attached to the bottom of this uh, floor is to just select them and then use that attached to floor so you just go back into your entry level and you select all of these walls and you want them to uh, end up at this uh, floor so you just go attach top base and you select this floor and now they're gone and if we go into 3d again select this as you can see those walls aren't uh, aren't going through our floor they're actually f uh, stopping at the floor level so maybe if I select this wall hopefully you'll be able to see it no not really maybe this wall yeah as you can see the walls are fin are stopping at the bottom of this floor as they should okay so once we have that uh, let's just finish off by adding some uh, interior walls upstairs and there will be just a few so go to entry level and again go to architecture wall uh, we've got the same interior wall uh, and for the height let's go up to roof and here you're just going to be creating a big little room did they just say big little room <laughs> okay a big little room like this and a little separation over here uh, just for like a closet or something and let's make this hallway kind of 1.4 and yeah that works and what you're going to do now is select all of these walls so you just hold the control select these three walls go into 3d and then okay we can select them okay so what you can't do uh, what you can do is uh, maybe go here to wireframe yeah this will be easier so just go here to wireframe and now select these walls so just call the control and we want to attach them to the roof so go attach top base select the roof and as you can see now they're going all the way up to roof just click out of that change this to uh, hidden line and there you go so your little home is taking shape okay so that's pretty much it for this part four if I'm not mistaken and I'm coming back with part five tomorrow so make sure to subscribe for that make sure to like this video helps me out a lot share this with your friends that don't know revit yet check out my patreon to download this file or most of my or all of my project files in revit so far thank you for watching and have a nice day